Hi everybody. Today we're going to read a story together. It's called The World Needs Beautiful Things and the author or the writer is Leah Rachel Berkowitz, just like Maura Rachel. That means she wrote the words and it's illustrated by Danielle Fabry. That means she drew the pictures and it's called, again, The World Needs Beautiful Things and it really The world needs beautiful things. From the time he was a little boy, Bezalel loved to collect things. His eyes were drawn to shiny stones, dyed strings, and even a bug if it had shiny, shimmering green wings. Bezalel brought each treasure home and put it in his beautiful things box. He had a box full of beautiful things. Bezalel and the rest of the Israelites were slaves in Egypt, in Mizraim. Remember, we learned all about that for Pesach. The taskmasters would grow angry when Bezalel dropped bricks in the mud to pick up a scaly piece of skin shed by a snake. See, picks up a little piece of skin. Stop! that his friends shouted you're gonna get us all in trouble besides you don't need all those stone strings and bug wings but Bazella just smiled each of these things is beautiful in its own way and the world needs beautiful things especially when you're living in a time that's really hard Bezalel never stopped searching for beauty in the world. When his life felt gray and sad, he took out his beautiful things box. He pressed the smooth stones to his cheek and wrapped the string around his finger, forgetting for a moment that he was a slave. One day, Bezalel heard amazing news. Paro, Paro was allowing the slaves to go free but they would have to leave Mizraim immediately, right now. The Israelites hurried to pack for their journey. So now Moshe helped all the, Egypt, all the Israelites go free and they're starting to get ready to leave. Bezalel's parents begged him to leave the beautiful things box behind. We can only take what we can carry, said his father, and what we absolutely need, said his mother. You don't need all those stone strings and bug wings. But Bezalel insisted. Each of these things is beautiful in its own way. And the world needs beautiful things. Bezalel took his beautiful things box and walked with the Israelites to freedom. So he brought his beautiful things box with him. Bezalel saw many beautiful things as the Israelites left Mizraim. The bright full moon led their path. Walls of water on either side of them as they crossed the Red Sea. All the beautiful things that he sees. pillars of fire and cloud that guided them on their journey. These things were too big for the beautiful things box. So Bezalel closed his eyes and collected them inside his mind. He remembered them so he could have the beautiful things with him forever. He also found many things that he could put inside his beautiful things box. Stop grabbing things out of the sand, moaned his parents. You don't need more stone strings or bug wings. But Bezalel gripped his beautiful things box and he kept walking. See, he found some desert flowers that he's putting inside his box. One day, Hashem called to Moshe, the leader of the Israelites. I want you to build me a mishkan, a place for me to live when I visit the Israelites. Hashem told Moshe it will be like the beautiful room in your house, the most beautiful room for a special guest. Moshe was flustered. He was like confused. Where are we supposed to find what we need to build your house, Hashem? We left 
Mizraim with nothing and we're in the middle of the desert. The Israelites can bring me gifts, Hashem said. Gold, silver, copper, strings of blue, purple, and red, wood, oil, spices. What if they don't have anything beautiful, Moshe asked. Everyone can find something, Hashem said, if they know where to look. Who has some beautiful things for Hashem? Let's see. The Israelites surrounded Moshe as he came down the mountain. What does Hashem want here? They asked. Hashem wants us to build a house out of beautiful things, said Moshe. There was silence. How can we build a house for Hashem with only what we left when we, we have when we left Mizraim? Someone asked. Hashem suggested string. Does anyone have string to help us get started? Moshe asked doubtfully. He didn't think anyone would have any. Who has string? I have string, said a small voice. Everyone turned to look as Bezalel stepped forward, holding his beautiful things box. I have red, blue, and purple. Which does Hashem want? The Israelites' mouths hung open as Bezalel spread his treasures all across the ground. I remember seeing trees with white flowers on the other side of the mountain, Bezalel added. Their trunks might be good for a building. I also saw some twisty olive trees. Look at all the beautiful things he collected. Then something strange happened. The Israelites began to see blossoms poking out of the prickly cacti and twisty olive trees at the feet of the forbidden mountains. They started their own beautiful things boxes and brought them to Bezalel. So now everyone was seeing beautiful things everywhere, all because Bezalel pointed out that there are beautiful things. He helped them see where the beautiful things are. Moshe ran to tell Hashem, you were right. We have found many beautiful things. Hashem looked at Bezalel, who was arranging stones by shade and shape. He was sorting the stones. Bezalel said, Hashem, you will design my Mishkan. Bezalel's heart pounded. Me? Yes, said Hashem. You love beautiful things. You found them in Mizraim. You found them in the desert. You will build my home because I love beautiful things too. So Bezalos described the beautiful image he saw in his mind. And together, he and the other Israelites sketched his plans in the sand. They started building with the materials they collected. The wood from trees dyed leather and bits of metal from rings and belt buckles. So they all worked together and Bezalel led them because he knew what beautiful things look like. And when it was finished, they wove tapestries, made lamps and crushed olives for oil and mixed spices for incense. Bezalel smiled at the finished Mishkan. This is the biggest beautiful things box ever, he said. Now, every time Hashem visits, there will be a beautiful place for Hashem to stay. So at the end of the book, there's a project for you. I'm going to show you right here. It says that you can make your own beautiful things box. All you need is a shoe box or plastic container or another box. Art supplies, whatever you want, markers, glue, paint, glitter, whatever you want to use. And then you can start collecting your treasures and make your own beautiful things box. See, beautiful things are everywhere. And it's really important that we work really hard to see beautiful things whenever we can. I see beautiful things every day when I go to school and I see how much you guys have grown and learned. And it always makes me so happy. And I close my eyes and I keep them inside my beautiful things box in my head. Now I want you to go and make your own beautiful things box. What beautiful things can you find today? You can take some pictures and let me know. And then when we go back to school, 
you can bring them and show everyone the beautiful things that you found. Have fun making your box. I can't wait to see what you find. I miss you guys. Bye.